Most folks who are new to business have got it all backwards. Many, many people are putting the cart before the horse and building their business in the completely wrong way. We don't want that to happen to you. So here, we're going to straighten everything out. What's going on, man? I'm Jeff from 10tononline.com. If you want to escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business, and launch a better tomorrow, then you are certainly in the right spot. Okay, so we've got to straighten all this business stuff out. I know it's murky and difficult to know how to get started or even where to go or what to do. So what I've done here for you is I've put together a free online business jumpstart guide. This is an easy to follow PDF guide that really lays everything out for you. It's going to serve as a blueprint for you and give you structure to everything that you're doing in your online business. Really, this is a step-by-step -step checklist to go from where you are now, where you find yourself right now, to building your fulfilling and profitable online business. Business. This is the same business model that I use and that I've been advocating for for years and years to help you begin generating your first profits online. So go ahead and grab your free guide right now while it's still available over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. And stick around to the end of this video and I'll show you where you can go and what you can do to gain access to some free training that goes even deeper with all of the concepts and a heck of a lot more that you and I are going to be talking about here. You don't want to miss it. In the meantime, though, we've got to straighten out all this online business stuff. So here we go. Now, like I say, most business newbies, people who are brand new to business, have got everything all backwards. And here's what I mean. Practically everyone, we can say for all intents and purposes, everyone, because it's like 99. 99999% of people who start a new business, who finally take the plunge, they make the leap. Well, where do they begin that process with? What do they do first? Nearly everyone, again, like I say, for all practical purposes, everyone, we can say, starts with an idea, right? They start with what they think is a unique idea for a product or a service or a business, right? And I don't know really why, but for whatever reason, business folks like you and I, we're convinced that if we can come up with some new, revolutionary, never-been-done-before idea, that we can go on to become very, very successful in business. I call these never-been-done-before unique, revolutionary ideas, I call them magical big ideas. That's because our ideas, our unique and novel ideas for our business or for our product or whatever, they take on an almost magical, mystical kind of quality. We protect them. We don't want someone to steal it. We covet them and we nurture them. That's because we're completely crazy. All right, now, next, if you and I are like most people who start new in business, we spend the next, what, three months, four months, six months, a year designing and developing our magical big idea into an absolutely perfect totally perfected market ready product. Have you been here before my friend? <laughs> well, if you have, then you may know what happens next. What happens next is nothing. Crickets, deafening silence. Why? Because no matter how much time you spend developing an absolutely perfect product or service or business, no one is interested. No one is interested because no one is interested in unique, never been done before, magical big ideas. Instead, my friend, and this is crucially important to understand as a business owner yourself, people only care about their problems, their issues, and their challenges. Let me repeat this a different way, and I hope this doesn't come off as harsh, but this is the cold, straight truth. People do not care about your magical big idea. They don't care that you want to fire your boss. They don't care that you want to run a successful business and get rich in the process. The real world, the market that you serve is cold and uncaring. They are totally obsessed and focused on the issues and on the problems and on the challenges that they are dealing with in their own personal lives. This is why I say that practically everyone who starts out in business has it all backwards. They start with an idea. They start with a solution. And by the way, that's exactly what a product or a service is. 
Products and services are solutions to problems. Consider this for a moment. Nobody buys running shoes. Nobody buys cars. Nobody buys subscriptions to online music services. Instead, what people buy are solutions to problems. So from this perspective, it makes perfect sense why most new product launches launch to crickets. Nobody cares and no one's paying attention because no one has the problem that this magical big idea promises to solve. From this angle, I hope it makes perfect sense for you. So rather than starting with a solution, start with a problem. It's crazy, I know, it's bizarre. So start by figuring out the painful challenges and problems and nagging issues that your target market is wrestling with. Specifically, look for problems and issues that you can solve using things that you already possess or things that you could develop. What this means is market research. Now, market research is absolutely crucial to the success of your business <laughs> but at the same time, it's easily the most overlooked and underutilized component in business. Nobody wants to do market research. Market research means actually going out and discovering what problems the people who your target market is comprised of have. Like I say, most people skip market research. And isn't it interesting that most businesses struggle? I wonder if the two are related. Okay, all right. Now, once you've identified painful problems that your target market has, only then can you move on to the next step. And the next step is to develop a product or a service to solve that problem for your target market. This approach, my friend, gives you and your business the lowest risk and the highest probability for success. But the big, huge question is, where do you even go to get started? Well, check this out. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash free. Now, there you'll find your free online business workshop. This is a completely free self-paced online workshop where you and I are going to shatter some big, gnarly, nasty, hairy myths about how business works. Market research, of course, as we've been talking about here what your customers really truly want, which is definitely a huge part of market research and your competition, what your competition really truly means for you and for your business. Now, not only that, but you're also gonna get three real world methods for validating your business ideas and also avoid the number one mistake that most business newbies make. And even more important than that, perhaps, what we'll do is we'll lock down a clear, actionable plan for you to move forward with your online business. You definitely don't want to miss this workshop. Grab a coffee. Sure, what the heck? Grab a notepad. You're going to have tons of ideas flowing out. You want to have a way to tr keep track of them. That's what I'm trying to say. Bring a coffee. Bring a notepad. I need a coffee. I'll catch you over there in just a second.